Hi everyone, welcome back to Travel Blast. Today we're going to a nearby lake. We're going to cycle there. It's about five or six clicks away. Um, we're going to be biking along the Ansung River. So it's about five in the afternoon right now and we hope to make it before dark. I won't keep the camera on the whole way, just give you the highlights. So let's get biking. Now over here what we're looking at, this is a actually, it's a training field for parasailing and parasailing is really quite popular in this country. Personally I'd love to try it, but they come here and they got their big parasails, I wish there was somebody here I could show you, and uh, they carry these great big heavy backpacks and I guess the backpacks are equivalent to the actual motorized fan on the parasail. Okay, we're off the uh, the farm road now, and we're into a nice little park here. Now I'm just going to pan the camera camera around. Uh, South Korea is full of these beautiful, scenic little parks. Now I'm just going to swing the camera here, and there's a little coffee spot right there. It's called Coffee Culture, and they make a fantastic cappuccino. So anyway, we're just going to continue down the road to the lake. I think you can see it. It's kind of an interesting little bridge here. It's just a, a walk bridge, but really neat. And here's an information center. Um, you can actually rent bicycles here. And we're in a little, uh, it's not a little city, it's actually a, a little town, I guess. And it's kind of a quaint little place. Okay, so here we are. This is the entrance to Gumwon Lake. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right are always correcting me in my pronunciation but we're just gonna bike up a little see if we can find the lake here and this is the the park just before the lake I'll just do a pan around here actually they've just renovated this park and they've done quite a good job it's it's actually quite pretty complete with modern outhouses and if you can see up here see if I can zoom in Oh, I can't. I'm, I can't zoom in on this camera. We have three cameras, and I had to bring the worst one. But there, anyway, there's a dam up here, and I'm assuming this dam leads into the river, and that's what I was talking about. I wasn't sure whether the river was man-made or natural or a combination of both. I'm not even sure about the lake. But we're going to walk up there, and we'll give you uh, a couple of shots of the lake. And here's the lake actually quite pretty. But they've got it all fenced off so you really can't walk down. Just a little bit winded here. We actually walked up about 300 steps so to get up here. It's a nice view. There's the a little motel over in the, the background there. And as I said, I don't know if this, this lake is man-made or is natural. Probably a combination of both, but I'm assuming this little station here, it might be a water processing plant. And probably they get a lot of their fresh water from this lake. There seems to be a whole series of these little lakes here in South Korea. But you know, in some ways it reminds me a lot of Canada. This is kind of a little scenic lookout stand here. You can stand and look out over the lake. Like I say, it's just been freshly renovated, so everything's brand spanking new. I really wish I had the other camera then. Probably one final pan here. You can see a road off to the uh, in the background. Let me actually bike down that road. And in the 
distance, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's just starting to get dusk and you can see just, you know, the lights of Ansung. So this is about, oh, I think six or seven kilometers from Ansung. Let's give you a little shot of the dam here. And this is a frequent fishing spot for a lot of Korean people. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us here on Travel Blast and our trip to Gumwon Lake. We made it just in time, so it's starting to get dark. So, thanks again, and until next time, happy travels.